going on YouTube? My name is Chris Beamer. This is the IPG Rentals Show. And today we're gonna to talk about something very special. Everybody knows what this is, the Ronin S, but DJI just released an update for the Ronin S that changes the game with this thing. Let's check it out. So what I have in front of me is the tried and true Ronin S. Uh, you can see back behind me over there is the grandpa of, of all the fun gimbal work, which is still a fantastic gimbal, by the way. Um, but this one's a much more compact for some smaller cameras, and those are getting better these days. So this is really a big go-to for a lot of filmmakers. Now, Ronin came out with a smaller version called the Ronin SC, and they actually put an update on it that was very good that came with it. And so they just decided, let all of our Ronin S people have that update. And the update is actually... Uh, specifically, it's the version 1 to version 2, and it's the 2.0.0.90. That was a mouthful, um, but that's the new update. So there's two things I want to tell you about doing this update. Number one, you need to hook yourself up to a computer. You can't do it through the app, uh, through the Bluetooth or anything like that, so it needs to be hooked up to a computer. Uh, the second thing is stair-step your updates. When I plug this thing into our computer, it was four updates behind and I just didn't go to the top one and say update because that could really screw the system up. So I definitely suggest stair-stepping those updates. So there's three new modes that have been included in this. We'll go into each one in detail, but just to kind of breeze through them. First one's gonna be the Active Track 3.0 and that's a way for the Ronin to follow you. You do need a phone to do it. We'll go into that very shortly. And the second one is Force Mobile. It's actually a really interesting way to have your phone control the view of this. So as I turn left and right, the Ronin will turn left and right, and you just kind of tilt your phone up and down. It's a very cool mode. We'll go into that in a second. The last one is the Auto 360 mode, made famous in the you know Kubrickian movies, um, where it's it's that straightforward shot where the, the whole uh, horizon starts to turn. There's a new mode that has to do with that. So we're going to go on to all three of these. First and foremost, we are going to go into the Active Track 3.0. Now, I have this thing balanced right now. We have a phone on the top. You have a selfie stick. We just, we completely had nothing this morning, uh, but we brought in a selfie stick uh, holder and we use a quarter 20 mount to a cold shoe on the top. Boom, you're in business right there. So we're gonna go through that Active Track 3.0. Now, just to kind of give you a little, just a way to kind of use this thing before I go into it, it's gonna follow me back and forth. Anywhere I go, it's gonna follow me. And it uses the same Active Track technologies that you see in the DJI. Uh, inspires and the Mavics, same kind of thing. So think about it like this. If you're doing, you know, it's good for YouTubers, if you're by yourself and you need to get up from your chair, go into a corner, show somebody this, oh wait, I gotta show somebody that over there, it helps you out there. But if you wanna go into a further type of uh, cinematic realm, there was a movie that came out a little while ago, last year, it won Academy Award for Best uh, Foreign Picture and it won Academy Award for Best Cinematography as well. It was called Roma, um, and that was a, it was a Mexican international film. And they used the similar system that you can actually do here where the camera just pans across the motion. I would highly recommend that film, but a very similar style as to what you can achieve with this right here. So good for the YouTuber, good for the pro. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and open my app up right here. Um, and you can see, now remember to balance this please. Um, you need to have this, the, the Ronin will yell at you. Uh, it will beep at you and it will say in the, in, the, uh, in the app, this is wrong, you need to rebalance this. Be sure to balance it right, it is possible, so just take the time to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the create modes. Uh, and you can see it's called Active Track Pro. Active Track Pro. So it says, Ronan would like to access your camera. Yes, go for it. Um, before I do this, I'm actually gonna get up here and I'm gonna call Frankie onto the scene. Before I call Frankie, I'm actually gonna stand up here myself. Uh, and I'm actually gonna call our camera guy, Francisco Hidalgo back here. Frankie, come on back, my man. So Frankie, go ahead and use that joystick to uh, turn that thing towards you. Turn the camera towards me, yep. Okay. So go ahead, Frankie, when it says okay, go ahead and use the, um, oops, go ahead and use the uh, camera and you go ahead and lock on me. There should be a little green thing right there, right? And so, theoretically, oh, look at that. So watch, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk on over, I'm just gonna walk on over here, right here. You can see as I move Right over here, she's following me. Now this is fast mode right here. So you can see it's kinda 
it's a little bit quicker. Now this is going to be great for sports, cars, something like that where you really need it to, where you really need it to kind of move for you. As I come down here, look at this, coming up. So that's actually quite cool. Now there is another mode here. Now here's, here's, here's the fun thing. To get back to this camera, it's a, it's a little funny because it'll track you and you're like, oh, I got to get to the back of it. Well, here's the thing. You might have to do a little, a little Ray Lewis kind of fake out situation where you, look at that. Oh, 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 I can't fake you out. Frankie, I'm gonna have to call you back in here, man, to uh, put this on slow mode for me if you wouldn't mind. There's no faking out this thing. All right. So here comes Frankie. Go ahead and hit the, on the bottom left, you'll see it says fast mode on the camera or on the phone. Um, go ahead and hit it and it should go to slow mode. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yep. All right. So now you can see it's a little more relaxed, just a little bit more um, soft kind of on those, on the edges. Now it doesn't, it doesn't track quite as well as the, as the, uh, the fast mode does, but it gives a little more breathing space, a little more breathing room. So again, you know, say, say we're in New York City right here. I got to talk about right here. I got let's, let's take a look at this wall right here. Oh no, wait, let's go to this side. I got to fix something over here. Boom. And look, there's nobody else in this. If you're a YouTuber, there's nobody else in the room, but you, you got your personal assistant right there. So that's the active track right there. Now look, I'm going to, I'm just going to walk up here. I don't know what's going to happen. It may or may not lose me. As you can see, it kind of has me right here and I'm going to sit back down. Oh yeah. So right now, it's kind of lost me a little bit, which is totally fine. That's pretty much the extent of how cool this thing is. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to jump around here real quick and get out of this app. And when you get a way to kind of get out of it is to exit the app itself. Um, cause now you see I have full control. We're kind of back to where we were before. Um, but again, tell me how cool that would be that you don't have to, I mean, if you're, if you're alone, you're doing your own channel. You could totally do it by yourself. And I think that's a really, really fun, interesting way. One more thing I want to add about this too. Um, I have this kind of theory about this. It's mind versus machine when you have a gimbal. Because if you're doing a steady cam, you can tell it exactly where you want it to go with the flick of your wrist. When you have a gimbal, yes, you know, you kind of control it, but it kind of has its own mind a little bit to where, okay, I gotta turn it this hard for it to go to, to do, you know, to move in this direction. That's fine, but what's cool about this active track is if you have a subject in the middle, you know it's going to stay on that subject. It's not going to, you're not really going to have to worry about turning it because it's always going to keep that subject in the middle. So I think that's very good, especially if you want to do, you know, passes, fast passes, slow passes, something like that, music video, all this fun stuff. You can do it without more, more or less worrying about having to turn that thing and be like, oh, you know, do I have to turn it this far or that far? So it's actually a very good feature right there. So we are actually going to take this off right here, the, uh, the, the phone. We have to rebalance this, so I'm going to go ahead and, and rebalance this right here. So I'm going to take this puppy off and to do this once, when you hit that once, actually with a new update now, funny little quick tip, if you tap the power button, it goes into a motor kill. So you don't have to do anything crazy to just do it for, you know, just for one second. If you want to do a quick motor kill to redo your balance, and the second you want to bring it back up again, you hit the button again. Boom, we're back on. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this right now. And we are going to go ahead and take the phone off and we're going to go ahead and rebalance this. We'll be back in one second. Okay, so we are phoneless on this. We have now uh, balanced it without the phone. Uh, and we are turned on at this very moment. Everything I'm going to do now is going to be on the phone. So if you go ahead and look right down here, you can see I have a screen record going and you can follow along right there. So right now we are in the create modes that we were in before. And there's two more things I want to talk to you about. So this one is called Force Mobile. Now in Force Mobile, it's a way for you to naturally turn the camera using your own hands, your own body, but using your phone is that fun little trick to do. So let's just talk about the, uh, the joystick mode here first. You can do a digital joystick mode on this right here. So I'm going to go to it right now. And when I kind of turn it, you know, sometimes it's, it's good, it's good, but there have been times kind of when you, when you kind of overshoot it a little bit, just because you are going through a phone, an app, a touch screen, then it's going to this. So there's one or two little moments when it works well, but I wish I had a little more control. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back to the front. So I'm going to go back here and it's called force mobile. Now, as soon as I bring it up, you'll see that there's enable force mobile. You'll just click that on and check the shenanigans out right here. As I move, it moves, as I tilt down, it tilts down. 
Nuts, really. And what's really cool is it's coming from you. It is your natural motion. So the way I kind of would, would use it, I would, I would just put it up against my body. And just, if I want to do something very slowly, look at that right there, very slowly. So this is actually a very good way. Now you can take up the pan, the tilt speed. I mean, you can get nuts with this thing. I mean, it can go very fast. Um, there's speed, there's also smoothing right here. So obviously when you're kind of panning and tilting, you can see the smooth stop happen depending on what you do there. So that is the force mobile mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So that's force mobile. I'm gonna go ahead and click this puppy one more time to get it back to its beginning spot. All right, last thing. If there are any Stanley Kubrick fans or anything that you see this crazy 360 kind of shot, you knew that it was possible to do this with this. However, you have to go in and adjust the modes uh, in order to kind of make it work. Um, before I go into this, let me tell you what it's called. This one's called the Auto 360 mode. Now, Auto 360 mode, before this update, you would have had to have gone in, unchecked a, certain, a few certain things like the roll, um, and like an infinite roll, and then you would have to have come back out. And what was kind of difficult was whenever you would start your shot, you would have to start it and press that joystick ever so slightly because you didn't want it to go crazy. And then as you walked, it's hard to keep that pressure on your thumb to be perfect all the time. So a lot of times you kind of ruin your shot. Now this way, it allows you to have a steady shot that you really don't need to worry about this anymore. And what's great is this, you don't need it anymore for this. So you just go, there's an M button right next to your record button right here. You're just gonna hit that three times. One, two, three. So now we're going straight up. And now next step, it is as easy as this. Your joystick, either you double tap it left, you double tap it right, and it'll go in the direction you want it to. Double tap left, voila. And look at that. So now you get to walk around, you get to do your thing, and this is in a constant rotation. Um, and you can, again, you can stop it by double clicking that trigger. Don't be worried, by the way, because if you start it here and you double click it there, it's not gonna stop until it gets to its native position in the front now. So don't be worried about that. So you can go left, you can go right, and that's it right there. I mean, it's, again, it's, it's very hard to keep that thumb pressure correct uh, when you're doing it. So this really takes care of that. And it gets you to do stuff that you would need thousands of dollars, a gimbal, a jib, a techno jib in order to make the shot. Boom, you got it right there in your hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there. Now, as far as, um, and then you actually tap the M three times to get it to go back to normal. One, two, three. Now we're back uh, in our position. So I just wanted to also tell you, there is a quick tip um, that's super cool if you're in the field, you don't have time to take your phone out, but, but something's a little bit off, you came back from lunch, your gimbal's a little weird as far as it's not fully calibrated. You can do an auto calibration just with holding down two buttons, the M and the trigger. You hold it down, and it begins the process of doing your auto calibration. So again, I don't know how many times you've been out in the field where, especially that guy right there, where you, you, uh, you turn your Ronin on or you see, and it's way out of balance or way out of something or other, um, or just the calibration's a little funky, it's not moving properly, the horizon's a little bit off, boom, auto calibration. So now, as you can see, she's completely balanced and ready for action. So those are the three create modes that have been brought up by this new update. So at IPGRentals.com, we want you to feel confident with the gear that we offer here. So we are constantly updating our repertoire of videos for you to make your shoots awesome, professional, and creative. So like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's our gear, it's your vision, IPGRentals.com.